Welcome back folks to the VIA pinstriping page. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for watching. So today we're just going to try to do a 15 minute design. As you can see here, I have a timer um, and a box that I found, a random box that I'm going to pinstripe. I do believe this is like a fake leather kind of vinyl something or other. Uh, I have somewhat of a two inch grid on here and I'm going to try to do something like an old school design uh, just free form see what see what I can do uh, I'm going to be using a Kafka number one uh, uh, currently my favorite brand and size brush and some one shot uh, it's sort of a salmon color and a little alpha enamel white uh, if you can, please make sure you give this video a like and in the description below you're going to find a bunch of links for pinstriping products. If you purchase something through them links, I do receive a small commission and it's a great way to help out the channel. So without further ado, keep an eye out on that timer, I'll hit the space bar on it and we'll get started. So I'm going to reduce the paint a little bit to the consistency that I would like and try really hard not to stick my head in the shot. So. This is my first time painting on this particular surface. I have no idea if the paint will even stick to it. And I'm not going to erase any mistakes. I'm just going to run, run with it. A while back somebody asked me why I go from down up on this side and I have no idea why, I just always felt more comfortable. I feel like I'm being rushed. <laughs> it's a race against the clock. Now over here, this side, the paint got a little thick on me, but it's all right. What I'll do is smooth it out a little and just thicken the other side to match it. Twelve minutes, folks. Eleven minutes. Woo, that goes fast. Ah, 
I don't know if you ever try to film yourself pinstriping, but it is not easy, folks. You always gotta fight the glare and try to find a good angle. You know, people are watching. Ten minutes, so I'm gonna try to finish this color. Well, got a little fat there. Gonna squeegee out this color, clean it off as fast as possible. <clears throat> Nine minutes. Next color. I think y'all can actually see me paletting this crap. Usually you can't. Now, this should answer some questions on folks asking how long you gotta wait between colors. Because you really don't have to wait at all. But, you wanna try to not have any mistakes. You go over stuff twice right now. As you'll start to pick up this first color with the white. So at this point, I just try to um, accentuate the colors that I already have, or the shapes that I already have, I'm sorry. Not colors, the shapes. Fill in gaps that I might see. Six minutes. Six minutes, Dougie Fresh, you're on. That's a song, folks. Mm, let's see. Try to hit it with some round shapes. Now these are always freaky, because if you don't do them right, they'll look oblong, funny shaped. Not too bad. Now 
Now, if my buddy Anthony Monaco was watching, he'd be cringing from all the palleting in between because he does the finger palettes. All this palleting, bud. That's how I roll. But it's just, it's how I taught myself. Oh, that was a bad idea. <laughs> paint was too thick so what I'll do is go back over this side a little kind of even it up and let's do one of these got a little too much paint so I'll just kind of even it out on both sides sort of gives it a thick to thin four minutes I probably should have done more on the other color I feel like I almost done so what I can do is maybe put another shape in the middle here Look at that, I messed up. Stopped it inside instead of outside, so this is how you fix that. Like this. Then you take this one, you take it to where it was supposed to go. Then you can connect them. little fix there folks that's the little fix it was supposed to happen all right two minutes so let's give this a little bit more action on the sides needs to come down some more you may not be able to tell because you're at an angle but try to do it right um, one minute 56 seconds just enough time to put my signature Having consistency issues. I'm moving so fast. Now, if y'all have seen the t shirts, uh, that logo is based off of my signature, which was created by uh, Frank Sanchez, was the one that made the logo for me. Shout out to Frank Sanchez, amazing pinstriper and custom painter. Right, forty nine seconds. Just do a little something like this. 
that. Maybe a little teardrop. Twenty-four seconds. Hmm. Can't think of much. should have done that all right folks time is up 15 minute design uh, let me know what you think in the comments section and I know this is my buddy D Norris this is gonna be your favorite part uh, shout out to D Let's get rid of this sucker. I can reuse the box now. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. Have a good day.